I've been standing with you. I've been right here with you, Troy. I got a life too. I gave 18 years of my life to stand in the same spot with you. Don't you think I ever wanted other things? Don't you think I had dreams and hopes? What about my life? What about me? Don't you think it ever crossed my mind to get to know other men? That I wanted to lay up somewhere and forget about my responsibilities? That I wanted someone to make me laugh so I could feel good? You're not the only one who got wants and needs, Troy. But I held on to you. I took my feelings, my wants, my needs, my dreams, and I buried them inside you. I planted a seed and watched and prayed over it. I planted myself inside you and waited to bloom. And then it didn't take me no 18 years to find out that the soil was hard and rocky and it was never going to bloom. But I held on to you. I held on tighter, Troy. You was my husband. And I owed everything I had to you and every piece of me that I could find to give to you. And when I was upstairs in that room with the darkness falling in on me, I tried to erase every doubt I had that you wasn't the finest man in the world. And that everywhere you was going, I was going to be there too because you was my husband. And because that was the only way I would survive as your wife. You always talk about what you give and what you don't give. But you take too, Troy. You take and don't even know nobody's giving. <laughs> 